Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Google I.O. It's a beautiful day. I think warmer than last year. Hope you're all enjoying it. Thank you for joining us. I think we have over 7,000 people here today, as well as many, many people. Uh, we are live streaming this to many locations around the world. So thank you all for joining us today. We have a lot to cover. But before we get started, uh, you know, I had one important business which I wanted to get over with. Towards the end of last year, it came to my attention that we had a major bug in one of our core products. It turns out <laughs> we got the cheese wrong in our burger emoji. And we went hard to work. We never knew so many people care about where the cheese is. We fixed it. You know, the irony of the whole thing is I'm a vegetarian in the first place. <laughs> so we fixed it. But uh, hopefully we got the cheese right. But as we were working on this, this came to my attention. <laughs> I, think, I don't even want to tell you the explanation the team gave me as to why the phone is flirting about the beer. But we restored the natural laws of physics. <laughs> so all is well. We can get back to business. We can talk about all the progress since last year's I.O. I'm sure all of you would agree, it's been an extraordinary year on many fronts. Uh, I'm sure you've all felt it. We're at an important inflection point in computing, and it's exciting to be driving technology forward. And it's made us even more reflective about our responsibilities. Expectations for technology vary greatly depending on where you are in the world or what opportunities are available to you. For someone like me, who grew up without a phone, I can distinctly remember how gaining access to technology can make a difference in your lives. And we, we see this in the work we do around the world. You see it when someone gets access to a smartphone for the first time. And you can feel it in the huge demand for digital skills we see. That's why we've been so focused on bringing digital skills to communities around the world. So far, we have trained over 25 million people, and we expect that number to rise over 60 million in the next five years. It's clear technology can be a positive force, but it's equally clear that we just can't be wide-eyed about the innovations technology creates. There are very real and important questions being raised about the impact of these advances and the role they will play in our lives. So we know the path ahead needs to be navigated carefully and deliberately. And we feel a deep sense of responsibility to get this right. 